Ah, week 13 of Chico's Choices. Yes, I am aware week 12 was not uploaded. If you missed Colts franchise, I did explain it in that video. A lot went on with my Wi-Fi. A lot went on with trying to render the video and edit it. Was not able to get it out, but I will be including my choices in this video of the last one to count the record as accurate as we can be for the rest of the season. But week 12, I want to talk about any upsets that we could. Packers Lions was an interesting one. I wasn't expecting that one. Um, another one was the Bears Vikings. I definitely did not pick the Bears for that one. Ravens Chargers. I think that I guessed that the Ravens were going to win, but Chargers getting another loss, which wasn't great. I wanted the Bills to win against the Eagles. They really didn't have that game in their in their hands because of basically officiating. They there was the officiating was subpar to say the least. I honestly need to apply to ref the league at this point, but I will include that record going forward with the choices that I had. But moving on to this week of football, Thursday night football to start off with Seahawks at Cowboys. I am going to have. The Seahawks winning that one. The Cowboys facing any team above 500 are 0 and 2, and I think that will continue. I think the Seahawks will win. I don't know if it's going to be by a lot, but I feel like they will. I think that they're going to really have a hot streak of a day, really. And the Cowboys are just going to keep showing that they really can't beat teams above 500. But moving on to the Sunday football, Chargers at Patriots. I'm going to have the Chargers winning. As much as the Patriots might have a chance, I'm going to have the Chargers beating the Patriots at Gillette Stadium. Lions at Saints. The Lions show that they aren't really on the same level as the Chiefs and teams like that. The Dolphins, maybe the Eagles. Their 8-3 and three record is a bit inflated right now. I think it's going to be a difficult game for them bouncing back, but I think they're still going to win regardless. Falcons at Jets. I am going to have the Falcons winning that one. I think that B. John Robinson is probably going to have another good day. As much as he should be getting more reps because he's still not getting majority reps, I still think that he's going to play well and beat the Jets in that defense. Cardinals at Steelers. I'm going to have the Steelers beating the Cardinals. Cardinals are going to continue to lose, probably going 2-11 and 11 after that. Not too confident in that because I feel like Kyler Murray is going to have like an insane game at some point. But Colts at Titans, I'm going to have the Colts winning that one. Zach Moss has the field, the backfield to himself at this point. As much as the Titans have been playing moderately decent, I have to pick one or the other, and I'm going to pick the Colts. Dolphins at Commanders, I am going to have the Dolphins handling business at that one o'clock game i think this is going to be a great warm-up game for the games to come after that because it's a pretty difficult schedule after that for the miami dolphins broncos at texans this is going to be a very very good game hopefully i have a feeling that the broncos are going to beat the texans the texans have been playing well and i think they still will offensively but the broncos have been on the hot streak and both offenses are playing very well i think it's going to be an offensive shootout but I think the Broncos are ultimately going to come out on top. But I wouldn't be surprised if C.J. Stroud showed out again. Panthers at Buccaneers. With the new coaching on the Panthers not official, I'm going to have the Buccaneers winning that one. I mean, I think the Panthers are basically on a downward spiral right now. They don't have their first round pick either. So it's not like they can get a wide receiver for Bryce Young. They're going to lose. Buccaneers winning that one. Browns at Rams. I'm going to have... The Rams winning that one. Surprisingly enough, I am going to have the Rams winning that one. I think they will, even though Cooper Cup did go down. Kyren Williams played very well. And, of course, Puka Nakua is always solid as is. That defense is solid. It's solid. It's good enough to beat the Browns, though. I will have the Rams winning that one. 49ers at Eagles. I am going to have the 49ers winning that one probably by a very close margin just like the bills eagles game but i think that they're going to give the eagles their second loss of the season because i it, it, the eagles have scratched out too many games at this point and i think the 49ers are finally going to hold them to it but the sunday night football game is the chiefs at the packers 
and unfortunately i will have the chiefs winning that one i hope that they lose in that one but they more than likely will win it and monday night football is going to be Bengals at jaguars and i'm gonna have the jaguars winning the Bengals don't have joe burrow they have browning as their backup right now or at their starter right now too i'm gonna have the chart the jaguars winning that very convincingly overall i'm pretty confident with all of this i will go over it one more time per usual seahawks chargers lions falcons steelers colts dolphins broncos buccaneers rams 49ers chiefs and jaguars some upsets some clear choices there but i did have some upsets in that one I am pretty confident of that this might be a shorter Chico's choices since we didn't really talk too much about this. But there was, wasn't really much to talk about. I mean, this Browns Broncos game was a score agami, if you know what that is. This score has never happened in NFL history, and that was very interesting. But overall, a very good day of football. This game right here had me on the edge of my seat. If you didn't watch it, go watch it. It was very good. It was a good back and forth game. I think the Bills still should have won it. A lot of penalties did not go their way. And penalties that really shouldn't have been called. And there was a lot that should have went their way. But if you did enjoy that, please go down there and like. So more people can see it. So we can bring Chico's Choices every week for the rest of the season. And hopefully the playoffs if you guys want me to. And subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of Chico's Choices. And any other Madden or football content that I will be having out on this channel. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.